Thursday afternoon, four people swimming on the north end of Myrtle Beach were forced out of the water and into the hospital. We just seen two people coming out bleeding uh, and uh, hobbling around and people taking care of them with uh, teeth marks all over the feet and legs. One person was bit in the hand and the foot. Uh, the two other feet, one was bit in the calf and one was bit in the foot area, bottom of the foot. One vacationer says he spoke with a victim who says he was in chest deep water with his girlfriend when it happened. Uh, there was about five uh, pretty large indentions on his uh, on his calf, uh, he um, the blood was uh, pouring down to his ankle, and he uh, he had uh, five five sets of teeth marks. While Beach Patrol officers haven't confirmed the bites are from a shark, a lifeguard who saw them says they are. Shark bites aren't unheard of, but typically they happen near a pier because of bait in the water. There was, there was guys fishing down there with live bait, so we're thinking that's probably what what triggered the bites, probably. Usually you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time, and if, you know, if it is a shark, it's usually accidental on the part of the shark. Even with the scare, within about an hour, all was back to normal, some opting for the surf, and others, the sea creature-free waters of a pool. In Myrtle Beach, Lisa Edge, News Channel 15.